it, Jordan. I, I don't know how this is gonna work. He's a lot fucking taller than I am. <laughs> Look at this fucking guy, seriously. I don't... So, should I do like an interpretive dance to your poem? Like, should I act it out? Is it something I can act out? It might be something you can act out. Do we want to try that? Yes! I'm gonna try acting out what Jordan's saying. If I fucking give up, I'm gonna go sit down and get drunk. So. All right. Excuse me. Why don't you switch places? Yeah. How dare me? Thank you, Edwin. Smart people. So, uh, why do you have to be so fucking smart? <laughs> approximately the same height. It's true. Yeah. This is this is prime makeout right here. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't really have a call response type thing. So. Alright. Well here, here here's mine. Mine's in response to like the first massive response to Occupy. Like the sheep. And I, 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 I like what Occupy MHK did and how they're actually trying to make a difference and that's really sad about what happened recently. Um, Jimbo can tell you all about it, it sucks a lot. But, so here we go. So I'm not rich. I have debt. I haven't been able to use my degree for fuck all. Still, when I heard about Occupy Wall Street and the subsequent Occupy everywhere else, I got a little jazzed. Hell yeah, I thought. Let's show those one percent. Let's show them the faces that the people repeatedly brought down. We are the ones your arrogance has cost and crippled. It's our it's on our servitude to what you have servitude. <laughs> to what you have found yourself tangled. Brought down by big business and coal banks. <laughs> Wall Street, you have taken from us and all we do is give. It's like a one-sided relationship. And America is apparently tired of it. You have made our lives meaningless and given us but one purpose, to rise up and take back. Take back what? What money have we earned and was given to the rich? Taxes? But we all pay taxes. Rich more than anyone, I guess. We've created celebrities and filled their pockets with gold. Our adoration of the rich through ridiculous is shameful. Still, it is we that give credence to the fame and the power. Sure, I'm a wage slave, but, you know, my life is fulfilling. If I was rich, I would work just as hard to secure that spot. In fact, if I was rich, I'd probably do a lot less fulfilling things to keep myself rich. My goal in life isn't to be rich. It's to live. It's to love. It's to be proud of who I am. It's to enjoy my life to the fullest and share that with my friends. To love and share that love with the people closest to me. To stop bitching about the lack of opportunities I have. We live in America. If you have shelter, food, and clothes, you're better off than 60% of the world. I have every opportunity, and I've taken advantage of them. I've followed my dreams, and it hasn't always been an easy path. Yeah, I've worked shitty jobs, and I get by. I know they exist. There, there are help wanted signs all over this town. Don't tell me you can't find a job when they scream at you from windows. While people occupy Wall Street, I occupy a nine to five. I work for my, I work for my pay and I pay my debt. I do not live in a fairy land where replicators produce whatever we need. I live in a world where what I earn gets me what I can afford. Yeah. There are times when I am graced with an ample amount of income and times I struggle. Something I never struggle with is reality. The reality of who I am, what I want, and where I'm going. I know my place and I still dream. Those dreams are what power our future and acting on them is our fuel. Yeah. Once we stop dreaming and start bitching, we give up on everything. We assume we deserve this handout from the rich man's charity. Maybe we do, but charity isn't something I can take without merit. I will do whatever I need to make my ends meet. I will work shitty jobs, side jobs, and tackle overwhelming commissions. I'll occupy my future, and if I make it, if I become one of that 1%, I'll look back to the people bitching and say, hey, I earned my way here, always pursuing my dream. How are you tracing your desires? Because it looks like sheep bleeding out a chorus of ba 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 when you could just as easily be a shepherd and lead that mass into something positive, something productive, and something that you can be proud of. You could use your time to create instead of tearing down. You have secured a voice 
Now use that voice to empower this nation. Empower them to act on their dreams and not look for a handout. Not look for justice because this is the real fucking world. There isn't always justice for the wicked. We can't always assume the good guy will win in the end. All we can do is a, be a force for positive change. What is the end game of the occupier, occupiers? What's the final payoff? What demands do they have that will ever lead to anything substantial? Anything more than what we want to be heard. Occupy your life. Stop living these pipe dreams of people who have given up. Yeah! A couple of notes. I feel a little bit sad about my life now because like, I'm supposed to be acting this shit out and like I was demoralized at one point because I, I, I couldn't act anymore when I realized I was acting out Jordan talking about living and dreaming and being cool and my action was It's like oh shit. Oh, you need to fucking reevaluate. Thank you. Oh, it's that's this shirt. Dropkick Murphy. I went to that show with him. Yeah. I, okay. No. Side note. Real quick. Um, if you go to a place like Manhattan, you see a lot of tall fuckers around like this. Uh, no, you don't. You only see one Jordan Mizell hanging through from the rafters. Maybe a few others that are that tall. Yeah. You think when you go to a bigger population, there's a better chance you're gonna run into huge fucking people. So I'm in Kansas City, the Dropkick Murphy show, right? And I'm in the mosh pit. I'm getting kind of tired and everything. Next thing I know, I turn around and boom, face into chest. There's only one person in the tall in the crowd that's that tall. And I look up and I was like, Jordan, I'm gonna hang on to you now until I'm not tired anymore. I make a decent. And nobody else in that fucking crowd was as tall as he was. So pretty rare everywhere. You gonna read some poetry? Tall people are free. Yes, I'm gonna read some fucking poetry. No, I'm shit. Like, I'm gonna hear more stories about drop Murphy Collective. I would love to tell you them, but I can't. Aww. I've only been given this microphone for poetry. I'm acting. Aww. And Jordan's gonna maybe act it out, I'm not sure. There's not really much to act out, but we'll, we'll go. Um, I don't have much time for entertainment these days. Between the job, the other job, the side job, and that one job I have on the side, I might have lied. I think it might have been more accurate to say I don't have any time for entertainment, but there you have it. The reason I've taken to finding in in entertainment in the literal breakdown of words we seem to throw around. Examples, you say? I'm glad you asked. <laughs> Actually, I'm glad I have an answer. If I were glad you asked, I'd be one easy to please customer, right? If my happiness was in some way perpetuated by your inquisitive nature, why the hell would I ever give you any answers? Just keep you guessing so I could be happy. That's the kind of prick I am. <laughs> Example two. <clears throat> I feel horrible. I often want to reach out my hand and make physical contact with those who say this so I finally have some tactile reference for how horrible feels. So if I ever feel it again, I know to stay clear of the horrible things that are afoot. <laughs> the camera adds 10 pounds. I think I that's a heavy <laughs> fucking camera. I feel so bad. Was this camera purchased due to your technological ignorance or because you couldn't afford a lighter, more advanced piece of technology, say circa at least 2001? You poor, unfortunate soul. <laughs> yeah, this is what I was thinking. <laughs> oh. 